Ansible collection is a great way of getting content contribution from various Ansible developers. Earlier there was a tagline for Ansible, batteries included. But now the battery is a bit small I will say, as a default Ansible installation will still include the necessary libraries and modules needed for your automation kickstart, but not the entire Ansible modules uh, and libraries. This is good in a way that Ansible developers uh, don't need to wait for a specific release cycle of Ansible uh, to include the latest version of module or library. Instead, uh, they can uh, contribute the content and make uh, available latest versions uh, via Ansible collection separately. If you are watching our videos for the first time, my name is Gini and if you think our videos are useful please subscribe to this youtube channel to get all the latest videos before i go to a demo uh, let me explain some important directories inside the ansible collections so the docs uh, directory uh, uh, actually this is the local doc documentation about the collection and there will be a galaxy.yml uh, this is the source data then the playbook directory will contain the playbook uh, which is part of the collection then there will be task directory uh, where the task files will be uh, included. Then there will be include task, uh, import task, then the plugins and modules um, where the modules uh, will uh, reside. And uh, there will be lookup directory Then there will be filters for Jinja 2 filter plugins. Then connection for connection plugins and roles for roles which, which will hold the Ansible roles for this collection. Then there will be test and yeah other few directories so basically ansible collections are like ansible roles but much more than that in ansible role you have uh, items like uh, variables handlers tasks um, templates files etc but in ansible collection um, you have more items like uh, modules plugins uh, filters and ansible roles it is not mandatory that every collection will have each and every items I explained above or previously. Uh, it depends on uh, collection purpose and the content type. Let me explain Ansible collection with a simple scenario. Let's say I need to implement some automation for Kubernetes clusters in our organization. And I know uh, there are several KATS uh, modules um, I can use in my playbooks. So I simply developed a playbook uh, based on characters modules and tried to run it. did it work of course not uh, upon checking i found that uh, kats uh, modules are not part of default ansible installation instead kats modules and plugins are part of ansible collection called community.kubernetes so how to install ansible collection so i have visited ansible galaxy and searched for kubernetes and i can see there are several results But I already knew that I need to install the Kubernetes collection by the community. So I scroll down and find the other named community and the Kubernetes collection under that. Now we click on the Kubernetes collections by community and see the details like version, how to install this collection, etc. Great. Now I know how to install this collection, but hold on. I cannot blindly run the ansible galaxy command to install this collection as I need to know where this collection will be installed right okay by default ansible collection will be installed under uh, home directory it's like a tilde slash uh, dot ansible uh, slash collections it is fine if you are the only developer managing the, and running the project and only from your machine 
But if you want other developers to use your Ansible playbook, then they need to be they need to do the same collection installation on their machine as well, right? So if you want to deploy the collection as part of your project, install this Ansible collection in your project directory itself under a specific directory. So I have created a directory called collections in my project directory and see uh, how we can do that. Then I install Ansible collection by mentioning the path to be installed. great we are good but you should notice uh, two main items from the above output the installed path uh, like slash home blah, blah blah things is not part of ansible configuration and even if you have installed collection in your project directory ansible will not detect it so you need to configure your collections underscore path in your ansible.cfg for that specific project So we will configure like collections underscore path equal to dot slash collections which is the current directory and under the collections directory. Ansible will search for collections in uh, home directory dot ansible collections then user share ansible collections uh, which is a default uh, value for collection underscore path the second thing ansible will automatically create a subdirectory called ansible underscore collection under the directory you mentioned so whatever it is and ansible will also create additional subdirectories based on the other name like um, community uh, 48 ansible vmware yeah whenever you install collection from those others Great, I have installed an Ansible collection called community.kts and let us verify the same. Uh, that's it. You can install any Ansible collection in the same way and use the modules and plugins inside your uh, playbook. Uh, what if I want to install a collection uh, with a specific version or specific version of an Ansible collection? There are several cases where you want to use a specific version of an Ansible collection Due to, due to the compatibility issues or something uh, related. You don't need to worry as you can simply mention the Ansible uh, collection version when you install Ansible collection. So it will be like Ansible Galaxy collection install then other dot new collection then you mention the version like this. Okay, uh, what if uh, you want, if your collection is not in the Ansible Galaxy, but it is stored in a Git repository, in a private Git, Git, Git server, uh, maybe your organization is not using the public Git servers. Uh, again, you can deploy an Ansible collection from a Git repository in the same way. So you have to mention the Git and the Git uh, repository path. Simple, right? I have added a few links to start with Ansible collections. Uh, please refer to that for more details. And um, that's all for this video. Please like the video and ask in the comment box if you have any questions. And dislike the video if you think the video is not good. Uh, also consider subscribing to this uh, YouTube channel for getting latest videos. And see you next time with another video. And thank you.